I have parents who made me believe that it was okay to do things no matter <laughs> what. I have an older brother and a younger brother, and I was one of the boys, if you will, <laughs> tomboy, if you will. Although my mother did say when I was a teenager that I could look forward to a career perhaps as a teacher, as a nurse, something really exciting. I could be an airline stewardess, <laughs> not a pilot, not a doctor, you know, not a superintendent of schools. It was just the way things were. Why shouldn't I be able to use capabilities that I have to do what my brothers could do or what Cousteau did? Along the way, I found that many people did think it was not just unusual, but preposterous. <laughs> when I was selected to be an aquanaut for a mission in 1970, it was still considered to be unusual enough for women to want to be underwater explorers. The application for being a part of that didn't even bother to say that you had to be a man. Unlike the astronaut program that was going on at that time, it was clear. This was for men only. But the head of the program for the Tektite project that had men and women living underwater for two weeks at a time was philosophical about it. More than that, he was practical. He said, well, half the fish are female. I guess we could put up with a few women. The, the Navy personnel involved were not quite so enthusiastic about it. There is no question about it that there's still a gender bias with compensation for equal performance, for selection to be in charge of various projects. It's just a part of our culture. But I have to say that it is exciting to see women CEOs. Uh, I personally have served on the boards of major corporations, but always in the minority, always in the minority. And I, there is this, this attitude sometimes that you're there because you're a woman, you're the token woman. Today, young women wanting to be oceanographers find that the doors are open. You can go aboard ships. You can be chief scientist on expeditions at sea. Kids, they're all explorers. Little girls, little boys, doesn't matter. They're just curious. We shape categories. Boys can do this. Girls shouldn't be doing this. Or sometimes you have the joy of just saying, I don't care what people think. I'm going to go this way because I really want to know what's out there. Those are the explorers who emerge irrespective of what society thinks.